unit of telemat telematic crimes. They are part of my family. As I say, they have shown me how we can cooperate. I always discuss that with Cesar and with Javi. Traditionally, we have seen each other as enemies when they were chasing us, when they were after us. And then Cesar saying, oh, don't be that bad as you are being. But now we are cooperating, we are collaborating, all of us, you know, to strengthen security. Thank you so much for being here. You have the floor. Hello, good afternoon to you all. So we are the last barrier between you and your party and your beers this evening. So we will try to go fast in our presentation because we are behind the schedule. I'd like to thank you organizers and all of you for opening the doors to us, for calling us to come here and to kind of uh, join your world, so to speak. So today we really want to share with you one of the research operations that we did. It was quite good fun. So actually, it is unrelated to APT. And then you go and say, why have you included APT on the title? Because someone said, look, if you write down an APT on the title, we will be getting 10 scores or 10 points more. Actually, this is not about APT. Ac today, I will tell you about an incident that a telecommunication company had. So that company got, became, you know, like really stubborn and said that is an APT, an APT, an APT. And we said, no. Well, after that, when we brought together the two researches, the two investigations that we did, and after applying the traditional mechanisms that we often use, we reached the conclusions that it was not an APT, but they were right. So without further ado, as Roman said, well, many of you know us. We are from the telematic crime of the unit of Guardia Civil. Well, I don't know whether you hear there are many people who read El Jueves magazine or not. And this is a cartoon which I very much like because, well, some people believe that we are like that. That's the image that they have of ourselves. Some other people believe that, the, well, that this is what we do, that we are just like that. Well, if you ever aspire to work with Guardia Civil as a full-fledged member, that will not happen to you. We are not that either. So we are just civil guards that one day we decided to work on the telematic um, crime to do investigation on that. Here we see our star, media star, he's Javi. He has been shown, he has appeared on the El Mar Pais uh, magazine. And then, well, this is for you to see which is our organizational structure. So this is the structure that we have. That's where we are on the little corner there. Uh, below left, but we are not alone. We have the advantage of having good friends, people who help us out, and well, one way or another, we make noise, uh, loud noise. So in all the serious presentations, okay, we include always that logotype. But this is, well, this is what I like much more. We are a bunch of crazy people, uh, where they are civil, and we have to investigate complicated issues. And as Andres and Miguel have manufactured something new, well, now we are starting to think about that. Well, the topic for this presentation, it is not related to APT, but of course, I don't want to do my presentation without doing the typical introduction to talk about a PT. So this is the latest one that you have, but there are very many other APTs. You can see the names on the screen. So what is this talk about? Well, the talk is about not generating any panic. When people hear about a PT, everyone goes, uh, starts to panic, who is spying me, governments, this and that. Let me tell you that we have an APT or whatever it looks like an APT. We have thieves, we have people who steal, people who want money. And for that, to get the money, they are going to use malware tools, programs that they may develop, uh, abilities or functionalities of APT that makes it make it look like an APT, but actually there is no APT behind it. 
focusing on the investigation that we did, the target of the attack was a telecommunication company. Of course, I will not disclose the name. It would not be good for you to know who they are. And there was some of the investigation data that we brought with us are kind of biased, okay, or kind of hidden. But I'm sure that some of you would guess the company we are talking about, but I'm not going to say it. Anyway, where we talk about a teleco operate provider, I think about the regulation, the uh, national security system, the Spanish security system, the, mm, and I think about that, you know, something like in good order, and then well protected, like a bastion, you know, very difficult to gain access to that. Well, of course, I can steal data from a bank customer, but well, it should be difficult, you know, to m do damage to one of these big teleco companies. But the thing is that this teleco company often work with other branches, with other delegations, with other entities, which are do not look that nice, uh, more or less like that. Well, I don't know whether you have been to one of the stores when the uh, telephony lines of these companies are uh, sold. Okay, they are not as bad as that, but they are not much better. Anyway, so this was a provider providing a service to both individuals as well as governments, as well as companies. They, and now, you can see the structure. Well, the problem that they had was the uh, the way they operated. You know, they have headquarters and then they have very many different branches. They have different delegations, branches in different regions of Spain. They have trans representatives, representatives. And uh, whether they did it right or not, these delegations, these branches had access to the central system. Well, if you take a look at that, it says, well, nothing is strange, nothing wrong. So everything was going okay for that teleco company up until some one Sunday. Well, I'm sure you've seen a person such as him. Well, these people are forbidden from coming close to our office because these are real danger. So this person was there, you know, like contracting lines, and then he got an email, one more email on the day, and he got a list of all the clients that have just subscribed one of those telephone lines, which is not that strange, you know, because the uh, management of this type of uh, new subscriptions, new clients have been, had been delegated to these branches. But the thing is that the man in the previous photograph, he started to wonder, to ask himself, well, perhaps those of you here does not ask yourself this, but this man said to himself, well, what can I do? Well, nothing, there is no problem. And I say, I'm not going to verify the account. Okay, so same as every Monday. I don't verify the account. Well, there was no digital signature, no digital certificate or anything. What do you do with that? Well, you know the answer, but not everyone knows the answer. The AV, the antivirus tells you that everything is clean, that there is no problem. Well, my father, my sister, anyone, what would do? Open it. Then saw a list of clients, no problem. Big mistake. Big mistake because that was the start of everything. I'm not going to go into the technical side of it. Then we showed that to him, okay? And then, well, he just split his side. And of course, I'm not going to go into that. But when someone suffers or something happens, something like this happened to you, then someone in the company says, oh my God, an APT, the Chinese have found us and they are attacking us. So when someone mentions something, look, this is what happens in the company. Chaos, everyone running away, call the firemen, bike break. Two minutes later, everyone starts to say, who's attacking us? Who's attacking us? Every time, people mentioned APT, everyone starts to think about China. They are here selling telephones, you know, this and that, they have the headway, the handset now. More specifically, this office at Pekin, I'm sure that you are all aware of it. So when you mentioned that to the head of security of the company, 
practically tells you, well, we have an IPT, this is the end of the world, this is a, a, a world uh, war, and we have to stop that. And so what happens? Well, this is just a world uh, war. And what happened? Well, these people opened the file, they got access to the database of clients, and then, you know, they could do every single thing they could think of. So that is to say, they kind of had control over the company in terms of management, in terms of subscribing lines, desubscribing lines. Then when the security people saw that, they thought about an APT, and this is the face they pulled. So they say, I didn't do anything, why me? And then they came to us and they said, what is happening to us? And then when well, there were several possible options, and I said, well, perhaps there is an evil mastermind who wants to destroy your company. They like to hear that. Or it's just someone who is looking for money. And then when they go and say, well, no, this is an APT. This comes from China. We've been infiltrated. No, no, it's an evil mastermind. It's a criminal. Then we assumed that hypothesis and we started to work on the issue thinking that there was an evil mastermind behind. Well, because we had to face that mastermind and say, well, okay, let us do a last stop tent. Well, but what happened to you? What has actually happened? Has any money been stolen? Has you been suffered any damage? Well, the answer is always no, no, no. Never any money has been lost zero fraud. But in this case, they didn't want to answer. They didn't want to answer because they're really anxious. And I said, well, no, they haven't stolen any money, but I have an APT. I've been attacked through an APT. So they called us, and then we took Javi out of the cage. We always enclosed him in a cage, and I said, Javi, go to the company, see what is happening, and check whether it is an APT or not. And then, well, you know this sequence, then we went to the company, and now Javi will tell you what he did there, everything that he uh, looked into. And then, well, after he gathered all that evidence, well, we just sat down and said, well, what direction should we take? Should we follow? Well, we are talking about attacks, new threats, new techniques, everything. We never go one step beyond. Well, of course, you can attack. They have attacked them. What happened with the evil people? So if you see an inform for any threat, any incidents or whatever, well, what happens with the evil ones, okay? Who has chased them? Who has gone after them? Often the response is nothing or no one, but because we are obsessed with that, yes, we can go after them, we can chase them. Now, Javi will tell you about all the technical details, and then I will tell you about the solution of the story. Okay, can you hear me? Well, I was drinking, you know, the typical civil servant coffee, and then they told me about Chinese IPT, and well, So the idea was, so they were telling me about this scenario. Well, the teleco company saw it had been attacked in several places, or, okay, or locations of branches or offices. The thing is that we approached the problem in four different ways. So the machines that we suspected that have received the, any vulnerability, we checked them out. We acquired the RAM memory. We also did cloning of hard drives. And then we also did a backup live. We analyzed the RAM memory. The advantage here was that you go to the place and then the person who is reporting the case is ready or is willing to cooperate. So you analyze RAM memory. Well, there were few, a good number of machines. And then how do you analyze RAM memory? Well, you do, well, we all do volatility. You all know volatility, isn't it? But this is Anjara rules. These are the rules that we used. So remember that we are facing, allegedly, uh, Chinese APT. So basically, when we started to take a look at the processes, update.x, typically saying it, we could break it with Jara rules. 
Jira Rules is a system that goes through the system looking for streams. Well, you can look at it in memory, etc. Well, we suspected that it was not a very ninja malware because of Spirgate, Cybergate. And as I say, I can download it on the internet at any time. So, in two hours, we already knew that, well, an APT, I could feel like that. Is that an APT? I'm going to be successful. I'm going to resolve the case. Okay, I'll go for one more coffee. Well, with all that evidence, we decided to do a pickup. So we wanted to analyze volatility. Well, that were being used by the malware. So we did a pickup. We use it quite often because it saves us lots of time in complex cases. So I tried to do a man in the middle. Well, with a switch, with an applier, I forwarded all the traffic and that was loaded onto a, or downloaded onto this pickup. And I did that for all the offices across Spain. And then I used an a snort rule. You know that it, this is an IDS. I used a snort to control all the traffic and then to get, well, more information. A snort rules, well, the the pay ones are expensive, the free ones work, and work quite all right. And whenever we do not have any snort rule, well, I just make uh, one myself. This is not complicated as long as you know what you're looking for. So what we obtain after connecting to several domains and several IPs from several countries, well, Ukraine, I don't know whether that has become, became Russia or not now, so, Please, the Russian person here or Ukrainian people here, do not, do not get angry, please. Oh, yes, we have a Russian man here. I love put putting myself. Right, we have a number of APTs and domains pointing to these countries. So, and um, what was, well, that was a problem for us. However, there was something which was highly characteristic, okay? A connection was done through port 81. This is logical, I'm sure that that's the way it is, you know, that's the way you learn. In the, all the tutorials, they go and said, okay, if you want to test it, open port 81. And port 81 was open. And I said, well, this Chinese person was just an intern, was just a beginner, isn't it? Well, the, full, the flow or the failure was that we are talking about offices, okay? We are not talking about the headquarters. We are talking about the branches. Well, the exit firewall had not been blocked. So that is to say fi data filtration, that is to say connection was not Tor. You know that some malware it connects itself through Tor, but it was not the case. And something else that we had to do, of course, we have traced everything. We wanted to check how to analyze the USB devices. We really wanted to find out about the intention vector. Well, of course, they have been hacked, but what did they use to do that? Well, when they told us about APT, we thought that it was an exploit, you know, really damaging one. And then at the end, we did our analysis and we reached an, some conclusions. Well. In the beginning, we retrieved all the IDs from USBs because they point at the registry where the USB ID is uh, stored. Then there were like 2,000 million USB devices that had been connected to these computers in the past 20 years. It was just impossible to do so. However, well, after analyzing the RAM, etc. Well, we could see, we tried to recover the deleted files on the USBs, and then, well, we could see that lots of shit can be introduced through a USB that it was not the case. 
well, we did a number of meetings, so this is uh, just um, an example of what happens. Well, Javi was taking care of all that, and I was just having like great lunches around and all that. So when you read about that and this and that, well, there was a person, you know, that have plugged a, a, a small fridge to a USB. Well, it works well. You take it to work, okay? You have your Red Bull with you. Okay, and now moving to the core of the story. Well, you dismount the CPU, you do the application, you might use the DD, which is the solution for the poor ones. So this is duplicate disk. And then you we wanted to boost those machines in a virtual environment, praying and hoping that was unprotected for the issue of virtual machine. We wanted to do live analysis. We wanted to do a static and dynamic analysis, which is the classic thing to do when you analyze malware. As I told you before, through the duplication of the memory, well, we could see that this referred to update.x, which was an executable file from Windows. The weight of it, the size of it was 200 Ks. Well, if you ever work with Silvergate, you can try it. So the thing here is that the server that you use to infect the service is not very big, but it is easily detectable by antivirus. So the people behind that, they did a crypta. And what is a crypta? Well, the problem with crypta is that your binary will grow a lot but it will actually be invisible. So actually the original virus with the original one did a match with four files. Well, it did four out of 48. So the cre crypto creator talks about a fully undetectable crypto. I'll tell you about this really quickly. What is a crypto? Crypto is made up of two utility well the stoop stop and the cryptor and the binder so these are code routines that go into original binary and it encrypts the binary the malware the RAM memory so what is the what happens that you have a binary which has been encrypted and then the AV when it does the reading, it only finds the streams. And then when it is executed, first of all, it self-executes itself through memory, the process in malware, and AVs do not analyze, do not scan the memory. And then they approach this problem through heuristic because it fails a lot. So something that I would like to share with you are the security by default from by Abraham Passamer. I encourage you to read it because this is a good explanation of all these. Well, that includes five or six articles in Spanish and it explains very nicely what Crypter does, what a Crypter does. Crypter allows you to do something which is undetectable by a navy. This is a technique that is widely used. Lots of paper has been written about cryptors. There are better cryptors, there are worse cryptors. This cryptor was not very sophisticated, but it has worked. And, well, there are two types of cryptors, public as well as private. This one was a public one. It was a mod of opt-in crypto, which is made on Delphi that you can download it, you can change it, modify it, etc. Well, basically the malware characteristics was, well, the type of APT, well, that could be a rat type tool. Well, that is really big, okay? You use it to do your botnet, you know, to make some money out of it. These people used RAT tool, RAT type tool, 
It is executed in advanced in user land. They also use reverse connection. They can detect processes in the OS. In this case, it may also can also inject in processes of the OS. In well, with pick pick up, we left pick up caps for a few days running, and we could see the upload and download of files. So, uh, rat type. It also had access to webcam, cool is an itch, and then keylogger, of course, and then a password recovery tool. I'm using it now. It is very nice, and all the passwords that you have, uh, you search engine or whatever, you can gain access to that. Well, the files that are sent out are encrypted. So we use the holly. Do you have an IDA license that we can borrow from you? Anyway, from the only, well, the only uh, decent protection was the debugger, debugger present. It is an API within kernel 32. It does consultation to a pointer whether it is being debugged or not. If it is being debugged, it goes away. Well, what could that happen? Well, when you see the call in the program flow, you can do several things. What we did was the following. At the end, we did two operations, and then in the EAX register, if it's zero, it stores a zero. And then it tells me whether I'm being debugged or not. So if you add a zero to EAX, then it's over. And then Jago took a different approach. Sen then he included a number of links. And then the easiest one, well, you can use some plugins. For instance, hard debugger does that. And then it also includes like additional functions. Now, moving on to the infection vectors. So we have the malware, we know what it does, where it connects itself, what it sends out. And then we wanted to know why it has just uh, done that. Well, after looking at the hard drives and then after talking to people, we could see many emails. Well, we wouldn't tell you the name of the emails. They had an interesting name. Do you remember f in the RSA? When they, when it was H. Legory or RSA saying, okay, open this Excel file, it will tell you about the profitability or the performance in October, the month of October. Everyone opens it. So this one, the PDF is executed, PDF is open. So that is an Adobe, a vulnerable Adobe version, and then it opens a window. And it says, do you want to see it? And then you click on OK. And when you click on, on OK, you were executing the binary file inside it, as easy as that. And of course, it also showed that it was not that the people behind that, the attackers, knew the um, workings of the company. And then they, well, because these people, the attackers, had done their own OSINT. OSINT. So with all the conclusions, we just put them inserted in our uh, big data machine. Yes, we are CV7, what would you expect? And then after using Maltigo, which is a tool that we're using quite a lot, it's been quite successful, especially for big data. Maltigo is not good, you know, for minor searches, but for big data, it's okay. As I say, we entered all the information that we have got us. Well, very short, many of those IPs, actually there were a good number of them, appeared in paste sites, in RPG servers that have been, uh, that have received vulnerabilities that have been attacked. Well, and then we could see a good <coughs> number of them. Then those servers, well, they also appeared in other places and that had been hacked before. And then we also gathered type of operational information. We reached a number of uh, forum. Many of them were on blacklist. This was confirming us that they were using attacked <coughs> servers. Well, and now I want to reach the server. So 
regarding the technical side of it, I will be very fast in here. The conclusions that we draw, technical conclusions, were the rat type malware, without not, not even if it is not very sophisticated, it has gone as far as that. Actually, they did an APT to a telecom company. Then the infection vector was was suppressive enough. Uh, this time was a PDF. It is widely used, but it, the attack was made at the user level. When they wanted to attack, they didn't run a service that was running inside. They, it attacked the user, or in this case, the worker of this big telecom company. Also connection to multiple IP domains, or IPs or domains. So this structure kind of uh, was outside Spain, but at the end of the day, we are talking about attack structure. And again, we were very much surprised about how easy, how easy it was to uh, bypass an AVS when you're working on with the exploit this and that. No, okay, so that helps you save, save lots of time. And well, that's basically the conclusions that we reached in for the technical side. Now I'd like to give the floor to my boss, okay? Well, and then, okay, yes, after his coffee, Okay, and as I said yesterday, well, Javi has been classified as a cyber, cyber weapon. He is a cyber weapon. Ribbon Ditch point and the discussion as if this were a paper regarding a security incident at school. We, um, paper wall, we uploaded, we published on the net, and. Uh, there you go. We aren't this way. We are very obsessive. So if we uh, grab a bone, we don't give it away. Once seeing this, you look like Ukraine is not for them to ask them a lot of things. So um, United Kingdom don't trust them. Do you understand it's a scary about, about the Americans, uh, France, uh, uh, historical enemies? No way. Unbelievable or not, policemen, civil guards, we have our cons, have, we have our things, we, we have our meet, uh, private meetings. You are not invited to attend our private cons or Rudolf's con, our Interpol, uh, European Union C C Council, um, G8. We get together with police people, in, uh, enforcement officers get together in this uh, international uh, police uh, meetings to talk about everything, and we also have uh, communication channels that normally work. As sometimes these international law enforcement uh, groups' uh, channels work properly, but following Roberto, you can't imagine how profitable it is to pay for coffees and for lunches, because during these lunches, you uh, get to know new people and have personal friendships, and you know outsiders, foreigners, policies, we can help you out, and um, we ask them to recover some uh, logins from our control panel. Sometimes I, I'm sad that you can be angry, but uh, after making the most of the coffees and the, the invitations to, in to lunches, the APT is over. Uh, so let's make a complete paper, it's over, there's nothing we can do after that. So um, uh, how it comes to mm -hmm. me, I don't know what to do because it, it seems like there's a critical fracture, this is cyber war, cyber spinners, cyber attack, we won't, we won't get anything out of it. But it's like um, a lodge, it's like a lock, it's like a latch. Uh, let's follow the, the itinerary, the track, the trade of the money, 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 money. A long time ago, French people say, the, the, the all these crime people, all these criminals look for the for the the woman, but in this very case, the cyber criminals look for the money. Once you got the the, the control of the telco, how can I monetize this control? How can I get signups? Can I uh, cancel my invoices or my billing? You'll will get caught, red handed. Can I change my billing account? for my never to pay for it, uh, we'll get caught right-handed. Do I change my rates on my phone bill? You get caught if I generate signups, lines, and subsidies for my benefit. Okay, I'm not the holder of that line. 
and I won't get caught. So they wanted to get the terminals, the handset, and then all these SIM cards generated with the signups were merged into additional uh, rate lines, not only uh, sexual lines, 905, 906, tarot, playing card, um, Vida, Vitans, Witchery. So before this situation, uh, we uh, uh, found out how many signups you got through this uh, client's credentials shown and how many uh, how many um, terminals he subsi subsidized where these terminals appear what cars what sim cars were used because uh, um, telephone operators um, have all this information can give you in their regulations framework so in the very end with this uh, a amount, a pile of sheet with the uh, phone status, login call. I put it in my own big data analysis machine, which are five police officers, or three guards at the, the, the office, uh, keen, keen commands. In the very end, all the terminals, all the uh, houses were sold and given in a call center, and all the SIM cards were sold to other people through these call centers. And besides, we also have three guys, three guys which were the, the, the holders of the additional rate uh, phone uh, lines. We were benefited from this, we, we got the money. So you contract a number, line, and for all the people you are uh, you are calling or bring calling, you get half the, the money. And if you, in, if you generate all this massive traffic without, uh, in a costless way, you get a killing, you made a killing out of it. Let's, perhaps there are the call centers. And uh, that's it, the IPs from call centers, we are going to do, to, we are going to do, it. there were the call centers, the, 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 the frosters, the tricksters, the Chinese people, they did an APT low cost, please go to uh, high class uh, low cost call centers. It w that were the call centers where they uh, sold the SIM cards, sold to other uh, bodies for them to call. And perhaps following the digital track uh, or train, they, they can uh, Got you called, and they were th 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 these serious guys were the, the holders of the lines. So APT uh, program was solved, finished, and said, we we got you, and we have the artillery to the, to, uh, to, to 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 kick you out. This this is easy, and uh, we don't have any complicated APT job. We have spent three months uh, checking everything, and in this was solved in just three week time with no computers with s no with no cyber weapons as usual so this is the, the 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 dark side you never see but this is this is it this is like this this is the salsa dancing bar we we got the villain the bad guy now let's get it let's get him since they interrupted our coffee and uh, spoiled our three-week uh, war, uh, let's get him caught. If I get out from my chair, it's to arrest you, to, to get you bust. So this is the summary we did, is, is the summary of our the detention of these criminals. Is this me? Yes, it's me. Of course, uh, why not? There you go. You can see, you can see, oh, we, we got the price. The terminals were at home, at their own house. The terminals were some uh, SIM cards, you can see on the screen. Uh, it looks like an, an attacker, uh, suspicious uh, attacker. In the, in the very end, we won. We won. We uh, caught you because, like I said, a, a little troll, a little low cost Trojan, they don't. Uh, they don't care about hiding it, so this is this is it. This is the bad, the, the dark side of the reports. Before any threats or incidents, uh, we we have the geek way to confront. Let's go there, get the images. Uh, let's see the pictures, uh, analyze all the this. This is a way I, I don't usually understand. Javier, do whatever you want. When you get something, come back to me. 
is successful. It, uh, it gives a result. Sometimes you cannot get to the end. That it, you can get to some point, or some point of connection on some computer, but it, it works. It, but if this part is supported by research, investigation, done uh, fr fr uh, from uh, forever, it, it has been the, the, the woman or the butler, we don't know. It's also successful. You don't have to be a super freak geek to do so, but it's super successful. The, to, to, to conjugate investigation and technological issues, Javi and other people uh, who come here, in which whose brains will burst out. The combination, the um, coordination of both technology issues, investigation, uh, works very well. And what what matters the most is to have a, f uh, a cold mind. N I'm a, I'm a, mm, a funny boy. I like hang around, but my mind is cold. When somebody tells me that oh, I'm suffering a brutal attack, I'm suffering a lot. The world is going to disappear. To d oh, and I mm, I trust the facts. I only have confidence in the facts. What wh what ha had happens to you? You have been stolen. It's not a cyber attack. You are being stolen. How they do it? Okay. Is they are being you are being stalled? Forget about uh, get in the um, intelligence services, the Ministry of Defense involved in this. It's not a cyber attack. You are only being stolen, and it's done in, in a very very stupid way. So that's all for my part. On my behalf, thank you, thank you very much for your attention. And let's go for a round of beers and drink. And should you have uh, any incident, any day, you can call me. The on uh, zero six two, no at night, please. Some, some perhaps, perhaps some uh, somebody for uh, telecoms engineers pick the the, the the phone. But these are our Facebook uh, websites, Twitters, and email addresses for you to contact us. Thank you very much for your attention and your interest. See you all then at the round of beers. Hello, good good evening. Downstairs over here. Put it down. Ready. Thank you very. Uh, my congratulations for your uh, cases. And uh, one of the things that makes me curious about is how, on this big scenario with so many teams involved, with the uh, company uh, developing, how can you uh, limit a scenario to take the samples from? You only select some very few examples, and I suppose there are other teams in between. Uh, I stop everything. I do RAM digs, and uh, I take uh, hard digs, and uh, the company has to buy new uh, equipments. How can you make this without impacting the um, the business in a very very subtle way, uh, with very f mm, subtle consequences. In this very case, it was very, it's a slightly slightly and relatively easy. <coughs> they saw the fraud. They saw that um, user did it from a delegation. You have one guy to be checked. Once you have checked it, if you see there's something strange in between. There won't be any other delegation affected by the same case. So you check other de delegations, and you try to, to get a sample, a good testing. Uh, if you got it right, you you stop it. If you got it wrong, you have to, to, to uh, amplify and get a wider sample. But it's only by approximation. We try to disturb these people the less possible. If nothing is limitable, we we. We expand our investigation depending on, but when it got on the scene, security departments, sirs from firefighters, um, the, the Red Cross have gone through the same area. Uh, so they know where the, uh, the shootings are being uh, directed. You, we are very obsessed if the information collected is not useful. We ask for more, trying to, 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 to be not bothersome. We don't want to stop their business. You, you got there to, to help them out the situation, uh, but perhaps you have to stop the survey because this will be very, very good for your service. Sometimes it uh, helps. Help has uh, implied consequences of stopping the business for three to, to or two days, and that's it. And this uh, is a cost that uh, you have to take on. Otherwise, I will I will report the case to the, the court, to the judges, and that will be a very bad situation for you, die at the company. Very first thing, my my thanks. I'm over here. I, I saw you. I got you. 
Thank you for clarifying. There, there's, there are only Americans having bridges. The Americans always say, oh, I'm the target. Here, also in Spain, we have targets and bridges. Can you give us extra data about how mm, this uh, strengthens uh, we suffer here in Spain for, uh, for me to tell and report back to my uh, fellow um, guests? Oh, uh, the, 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 the ignorance, uh, uh, does your phone number align work properly? Okay. So I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Since I went into this unit, I lost ten lives of my l uh, life, ten years of my life. Uh, this is uh, the, the real reason why I'm here. Uh, but incidents like this uh, happen constantly: um, uh, thefts of uh, credentials in telco. Th ten uh, are enough. Uh, one million is is enough. Uh, Thousand, but I don't mind statistics. I, I'm, I've been, I have been banned from giving statistics. Uh, call the minister of the interior, and he will tell you the, the figures. I'm not allowed to tell you the, the, the statistics. Sorry.